Okay, here's the first one. Wanted a hundred. Lingering edge is let me consume the ancient mana and cable of speech for a short while. Yum yum. There you go. And gave me fifty-five. Fifty-five rep. It would normally be fifty, but uh Ancient Mana Shards. There's like one right here, right? Yeah. There was one there was an ancient mana shard right behind you. Are you that lazy? Did you need such of a fix that you couldn't even walk like five feet to get it yourself? I mean, that is some uh, pretty serious addiction right there. Crap. Someone just grabbed it. Someone just grabbed the ore I was going after. Huh? What? What's going on? I thought they had already looted it. Apparently not. Okay, let's uh, turn this in, and then we can try and figure out what it is we need to do. Because I have two other quests I need to get. I need to... Uh, some more crystals around here. Ah, here it is. But yeah, I need to uh, get friendly with these uh, Nightfallen. I also need to head back to... Valshara and get friendly with those guys and as well as Stormheim just so I can up uh, unlock there's one there's one just so I can unlock the world quest because once I get the world quest unlocked I can actually start getting some good gear hopefully get enough stuff to I, so I can start doing heroics and see about doing some uh, dungeons and stuff with it uh, but yeah how much farther should I keep going with this series I mean there's tons of stuff I need to do I, there's tons of stuff I can keep uh, going with on these episodes. I do plan on doing a lot of stuff, but some of it is a bit repetitive. Like some of the world quests are basically just rehashes of quests I've already done in zones I've already been to, so that might not be so much fun to watch. But there's still dungeons, there's still explorations. I have the whole of Stormheim I could go through and explore. Because I still need to do that for the MacGuffin. I still have Valshara for the MacGuffin. Suramar must be free. So is that everything? Looks like it. Two hundred twenty-seven uh, reputation. So I have Nightfallen. All nearly friendly. I am nearly friendly already, and I'm honored with High Mountain. So all I have to do. Is once I get a couple more quests done for her. Uh, let's see. Let's head up this way. Simply because this one I can do easily. Okay, Doki, let's see. Uh, this way. And around, I think. This way, up and around. Ancient Mana Crystal. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Ancient Mana Crystal. 50 points. Boom. Ah, but yeah, those that's basically the currency for this entire zone, more or less. You basically have to take them back, feed them to the Nightborn, Nightfallen, at that, uh, Meridil, and basically keep them, uh, fed on their addiction. You basically have to feed their addiction to keep them happy, keep them lucid and capable of, uh, interacting with you. Because otherwise, they go a little bit mental and... They just won't sell anything. They won't function at all. And it's kind of uh, sad. But at the same time, <laughs> necessary. It's a necessary evil. Feeding the addiction of all these mana-addled weirdos. Uh. So, yeah. Unfortunately, it's just something you have to do. Uh. But once I get friendly, I might head over to back over to Valshara, just to get friendly with those guys, maybe do my class hall quests, maybe do my uh, uh, blacksmithing mining quests, because I do have one over there. There we go. And then I might also try and get into a dungeon, because I have some dungeons I need, actually do need to do, but at the same time, I would like to get into heroics with them. If I could go through on Heroic, it would mean I would get some better gear, get some more stuff with it, because 
Completing heroic dungeons gives you... What is that? Oh, I can't carry anymore. What the hell? I'm already maxed out on the magic. Well, that sucks. That is far crap, enough. crap, crap. Uh, I need to click this coin, don't well, I? Well, you are not from the palace, and you are no demon. Why does it automatically go on cooldown? Identify yourself before there. I teleport you to the depths of the great sea. What is this? It's a coin. A coin? The sign of the Dusk Lily. This is the first Arcanist seal. Is she alive? Yeah. I guess. If that's Go her. Quickly. I need your help. Um. How is he floating? He's not even in a bubble. He's just kind of floating in midair. What are you doing, man? <laughs> how the hell was he floating? He was not even in the bubble with me. He was just kind of floating alongside me. Is he like tethered to Why, me or hello. something? I don't know. Uh, you may deliver me to theater once my work here is complete. Uh, whether telemetry beacon, correct? What is it? Uh, click to the workshop. The teleporter is just outside. Activate it first, then step on the path. Okay, anything in here? No. So yeah, this guy is the one that's going to give us teleporters. Basically, little bubble te uh, portals all around this area that we can use. And this is the first one where he's teaching us how to do this stuff. There we go. All of the teleporters work the same way. Use them to find that equipment. Anything in here? No. No. But yeah, it basically this thing teleports us randomly all over the place. I've only been through here once. I do not remember where it is I need to go. There's three of them here. Library? Warp lab? I think it's the warp lab we have to go to. Because there's three different ones. Library, fountain, warp lab. Ah, here we go. And a nice big ancient mana chunk, which I cannot use because crap. Uh, oh, there's two of them here. Uh, ancient mana chunk. Now, if I could get one of those that I could just store in my bag, that would be pretty good. But yeah, you can... in increase your uh, max total because right now I can only have 300 of 300 so a bit uh, disappointing but at some point I can actually increase that to f upwards of 900 which is nice unfortunately right now I'm just kind of screwed over Ugh. Bop. damn it all this ancient mana, and I can't pick it up. It's so frustrating. Oh. And I can't really spend it on anything at the moment. We are That's the worst part. Rule. The only thing I can really spend it on is a uh, random NPC night and Nightborn out in the world that I can give it to or the ones back at the main base at Mirathil. I'm not going anywhere. I'm standing right here. Uh, I don't think that word means that what you think it means. Inconceivable. A uh, nice little reference that I completely butchered right there. Um, where are you going? <laughs> I completely butchered that reference. Uh, the Princess Bride. Such a good movie. An old movie. Came out in the 80s. Such an 80s movie. Uh is there anything up here? Probably not. Since this is a questing area, and you have to be on the quest to get up here, probably not anything like hidden or special. Oh. oh. But I can't remember. I've only been through here once, so I don't really know. But at the very least... Uh, ah, here we go. Click. Enter. So that was the warp lab. The other one is back through here and then to library? I think it's the library. Probably the library is wrong. or not. I have lost your position. Wherever you are it is unstable. The telemetry will uh. not hold law. Ow. Crap, 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 crap. Nope. Uh how do we get out of here? 
<laughs> a curious discovery, but you will not find the equipment we need in there. Very curious indeed. Can't click on that. Okay, this is just basically kind of a puzzle. You have to figure it out which way you have to go. And I like that. I like the fact that there, it is kind of just a puzzle like this. It means you have to figure stuff out on your own. Uh, I mean, you could probably look it up. If you had, like, a wiki open, you could figure out where you needed to go. So, the garden. The nook. Telemetry. Uh... One of these mana shards, which I cannot pick up. Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Nothing clickable. Okay, which one? It's a one in three chance. I'm guessing it's the telemetry lab. That sounds like a place you would go to get the items he needs. Possibly. Quite possibly. And where is my guy? Hello? There he is. Uh, he just disappears sometimes. It's odd. It's annoying. Uh, and I don't even know where the hell he was that first entire time. At, at, for like an hour and a half, he was gone. He didn't show up. I thought I had screwed something up that he just wasn't there. But apparently, he just didn't want to show up. It was his first day of work. I told him he needed to show up at 9. He thought it meant 9 p.m. It was actually 9 a.m. I needed him. So it was all my fault. And he's blaming me for it. I mean, I am the boss. Good I wasn't work. entirely Bring clear. Back to me at the workshop. Okay. We have to go back to the workshop. So yeah, that's probably what it was. It was just a scheduling issue. He thought I said 9 p.m. It was actually oh. 9 a.m. So he was like 12 hours late. And then, yeah... It's all my fault. I should have been more clear. But, yeah, I really should just fire this guy and start fresh. Huh. Okay, fountain. So how do I get back? No, seriously, how do I get back? It's like right here, isn't it? And it's over there. Do I just keep going back through this? Nook. To the nook. To the book nook. Strange. Holy crap, crap, it's crap, 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 crap. I'm recalling you. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. Oh. Okay. Where am I going? Uh. How do I get out of here? So I have to go this way? I guess. Or do I just keep going back through this? That's the fountain. That's the warp lab. Let's head back to the library. It should send us to wherever that thing was, and he'll bring us back. Hopefully. Otherwise, we're just stuck down here. Is there anything down here? No. It's the middle of the mountain. Strange. You should have been recalled by now. Whatever you just did, it bought you more time. Is there, like, something hidden in here? Not really sure. Ah, oh, that's a good question. I wonder if there is something hidden in there. Have you made I'm supposed to run through those uh, little things and maybe get something Tell secret in the I'm other right side. Here we go. So we need to teleport again. This is a nice little mechanic. I mean, it's just teleportation, so it's nothing are. all that My spectacular. But it's the fact that you have to click on this kind of stuff. I don't like it. We are agents of the light. Nope, I don't want to click on that. I don't want to go back to the workshop yet. The defenses are offline. Here we go. And I just remembered I needed to rebuff. Uh, I actually did remembered before it ran out. Which is very nice. Actually remembering to, to do that. Good. If we overcharge enough coils, the entire system will fail safe into a lockdown. So we just have to click on those t uh, pillars and kill these guys. Quite possibly. Most definitely. Uh, it is a distinct possibility. Yes, crank it up! Uh, wait, which way do I go? 
What's up here? If that's going that way, let's go that way. Ah, oh, there's only two ways to go. I wasn't even looking at the mini-map. I need to do that. I need to pay attention to where I'm going. Uh, but let's announce our presence with a blast of critters. Go get them critters. My network. My, my. Come on, be distracted. Look how cute they are. Cute little fuzzy squirrels and bunnies. All that weird enough? stuff. Come on, go after them. <laughs> Leave me alone. They're not apparently distracted by the critters. is going to help us reclaim every corner of our ancient lands. Damn it. They were not distracted by the critters in the slightest. Very sad. Oh, how jaded do you have to be to ignore a tiny little bunny running through your halls? I mean, look at those guys. They were adorable. Little bunnies and squirrels. But no. They just ignored them completely. That's what happens when you're so focused on your own addiction. When you're addicted to magic, you don't have time to notice the little things. The tiny little squirrels that are running around your feet. Uh, I mean, I would notice. And he's almost dead again. And again, he's not actually healing. Damn you, man. Damn you. Fine. Fine. Here. Have some healing. See what I mean? I'm just burning through all of my mana, and it barely got him over halfway. It got him to three quarters of his life. My entire mana bar got him to three quarters. Really does suck. Ah, uh, okay. Bop, bop. Just need to get to this last pillar, and then we can go take a break. So I've been going for like an hour and a half now. Ah. Uh, Okay, come on, come on, die, you stupid elves. Uh, but yeah, they were literally tapping into mana, tapping into ley lines. Were they doing this beforehand? I mean, I know that was basically the idea behind the uh, whole uh, Nightborn High Elves pre-sundering of the world. man, I have surpassed you. Good trick. <laughs> I mean, that was the whole thing. That was what like drew that. the Legion here to begin with. They were messing around with arcane magics and drawing it to the surface of the world and channeling it into themselves. That's what attracted My the Legion to begin with. Where have you taken us? So, I can't really be too uh, sympathetic with them when they brought it on themselves. They quite literally brought it on themselves. They brought the Legion into this world because of their own arcane... Uh, addictions and desires. They just kind of... Crap. Die. Stop it. Stop it. There we go. Bop. Crap. 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 Stop. <laughs> Stop your casting. Uh, but yeah, they did this. They actually did it themselves. They did this to themselves. Uh, that was the whole point of Ashara. This place. She wanted magic, she wanted power, she wa- Oh, crap, 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 no, no, no. Ow. At least it gave me Featherfall. Uh. But yeah. One always took magic too lightly. You were a terrible student. <gasps> what the hell? Uh. Damn it, stop bubbling me around like that. I need to get up there again. Uh. But yeah, Queen Ashara. Hungry for magic, thirsty for magic. Just tapped into all those ley lines. How do I get out of here? How do I get back up? No, seriously, how do I get back up there? Ooh, crap. Crap. No. Ooh, come on, come on. Oh, no. Ooh. So I can big, massive jump here. Bubble. It's like I'm moon jumping. Crap. No. How do I get out of here? I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of just stuck down here now. Okay. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Uh, what is this? Ah, crap, crap, crap. I'm curious. What is this? Is there something over here? This looks like the caverns and stuff you would see 
in like um Ooh, there's actually an entrance here. So there's actually a way into here? Post the uh... Aha There is actually an entrance. Though there's nothing up here. At least it doesn't look like it. To storage. Aha! Okay. Now that is interesting. I need to go talk to him though. That kind of sucks. But yeah, let's uh let's head back in here. Let's talk to this guy, turn this quest in. <laughs> what the hell? Ooh. Ow, oh, I keep banging my head on the ceiling. Uh but yeah, uh, they kind of just did it to themselves. The whole night elf, blood elf thing. They got themselves addicted to the mana. They did it to themselves. It was Queen Ashara wanting more and more power that eventually drew the Legion here. And it, they did it. They She made a deal with the Legion. She wanted the Legion here. She, they, she was going to give I'm in to their power Amenos. and hand I this world over. I will get us as close as I can. Come close. I'm right here. Crap. I wanted to take that portal thing that was over there. What is our destiny? There we go. So hungry. Uh, carry. So I basically just have to carry him over. Or it will break you. Here we go. What <laughs> the hell? Look at this. Ah. Uh, we're <laughs> literally just carrying him. This is this is hilarious. There is literally no ragdoll physics in this game. I don't know if the engine can actually uh, handle ragdoll physics. So I am just carrying a static version of his body. He's just like frozen in place. He's like a friggin' mannequin. Because there is no ragdoll physics. I mean, he is slightly moving on his own. But there's just nothing. It's just it's just the freaking like I'm carrying a sack of potatoes. Oh, you gotta love that. This game is so old it does not have ragdoll physics in it at all. Oh, I'm not even sure it could handle it. But yeah, let's bring him over. Bring him in here. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it's just so stupid. Look at this. I'm just the way I'm carrying him. There we go. And then he just hops down. The Nightwell calls to Close me. enough. Close enough. Use ancient mana to feed the chief telemancer. Let's feed him. Not there we go. Day, it seems. Hungry work. There we go. Test. Can you and I think I'm now friendly. Them? And we now have Already some boots. Once there we go. Completes the survey, we, will have our first Ugh, we got some boots. I could actually buy them, but I don't want to spend 400, 500 gold on a pair of boots that I might actually get better or equal to for free. I mean, that is the thing. I could technically get some like from the next rare I kill. So I don't want to spend 500 gold on a pair of boots if I'm going to get something that's just as good like five minutes from now. Uh, well, maybe not five minutes from now, because I do need to take a break here. Uh, well, I'll do the telemancy beacon that's up uh, up top. Then I will take a break. Because I think it looks like... Yep, I got friendly with the Night Fallen. So I just need to get... Here we I go. Should mention, uh, the survey may reveal a few telespatial anomalies. Uh, uh, maybe a warp time ripple or two. Uh, Nothing you cannot handle. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the warning beforehand. But yeah, I need to go back and do the Dreamweavers a little bit in Valshara. I also need to head over to um, Stormheim. Do a little bit over there. I need to click on this. Get rid of this stupid little portal. So yeah, I just need to get, I just need to get to Stormheim, get friendly with those guys, head over to Valshara, do a couple quests there just to get friendly with them. And then I will unlock world quests. Hopefully unlock world quests. Uh, because I've been going for like an hour and a half now. And I usually take a break after an hour and a half simply because 
My throat, my uh, voice starts to go. So 50 more. Just need 50 more of these. Here we go. 50 more points. Survey percentage. I'm sure he can handle it. He seems like he's doing okay, even though he's not healing. At all. At all! Ugh. Come on. Just... Where is this beam coming from? Telemancy beacon. The telemancy beacon is shooting out of my hands. It just seems so weird. There. You know, you could help me out here, not just attacking these little guys. You could actually click on the portals. That would be nice. That would be nice if I could get him to do that. To actually help me with the quests. Instead of just being kind of a... You. You. Wiggling tentacle thing. There we go. Kill the wiggling tentacle. Now place the beacon. Here we go. Two-way connection established. Use it freely. The distance is short, so it requires very little power. Aha. Uh -huh. Now we can begin to restore the So now I can take this beacon back and forth. I mean, it's just right there. But it's a quick way to get up on top of the mountain. Well, on top of that little hill. So, just need to get this quest, possibly. Turn it in. Aran Arcana. Explore Anora Hollow and find the lay station Anora. there. Remember, you can use the new teleporter to reach the surface quickly. Anora Hollow is somewhere north of here. Okay. So, uh, 300 artifact power. Very nice. Another 100 there. Some fell hides. Scales, whatever. Uh, anything else I need? Greetings. Well, no, 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 I don't want to do that. So let's sell all this crap. I think I am going to take a break right here. It's got some explosive stuff. Very nice. And, Sir yeah, Mar there we go. This has been another episode, another play session of World of Warcraft. This has been Bobson. This has been Floob. And this has been my... No, I don't really like this helmet. I need to go back to Dalaran and hide this helmet. Because, holy crap. In fact, I probably should do that. Because I've already hit friendly with these guys. I've hit friendly with the Nightfallen. So, yeah. It might be worth it to just head back to Dalaran. Turn in. And, uh... See if there's anything else I need to do. And might hit... I might just go ahead and go do that. After I take a little break. And then come back fresh next time in Stormheim. Because I... I am very close. I am like, a uh, Two three turn ins or something for quests. So I do have like one I could just do really quick. These two quests right here would probably get me friendly. It's just to kill some uh 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 harpies in this little area here. So that might be worth it just doing it off camera since that's just a simple couple simple quests and it'll get me the rep I need. And then next time I'll come back for uh Oh, so next time I'll come back for more Stormheim, for more World of Warcraft in Stormheim. Ah.